Hey horror fans, once again it's the Horror Minds of Money G welcoming you again to another movie review and this time we're going to review the movie Victor Crawley. Yes! Now before we begin the movie review I want to uh, mention that the fact I was part of a podcast on Morbidly Beautiful's website uh, internet show called uh, The Calling Hours. It is run by a guy named Michael Deadman. It was hosted by Michael Deadman Jones. Uh, I was part of a horror, I was part of the podcast along with my good friend Vicky from Mike Nightmare Maven. Uh, basically, the podcast consisted about us talking about the uh, recent changes YouTube is doing uh, with its uh, how do you monetize on, on your channels. And uh, that was a pretty good podcast. We had a, I had a very great time, and I want to thank him again for inviting me to do the podcast. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so that way you my horror fans can actually listen to the podcast uh, now on to the review now Victor Carley is a 2017 uh, American slasher film it was written and directed by Adam Green yes this is the fourth entry of the Hatchet series and he's done all the films and it also once again stars Kane Hooter, uh, Kane Hooter as Victor Carley as once again Victor Carley returns to his swamp and does what he does best rip the shit shit out of anybody that gets into his swamp. And that's basically what this movie is about. Now, as far as the Hatchet series is concerned, I, I somewhat enjoyed them. Uh, the first one, I believe it came out in 2006 or 2009. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong about the year. And uh, at the time, uh, Adam Green felt as though that we were not having another great horror icon uh, he missed the good old slasher days, so he went on ahead and created and made the first Hatcher film, which is basically a throwback to the good old slasher uh, horror movies. And he, I guess he wanted to create another horror icon, hence Victor Crawley. And he got King Hooner, which we all know, uh, played Jason in, I believe, about five of the Friday the 13th movies. If I'm wrong again, correct me. Uh, and he wanted to create a new uh, horror icon. Now, I like the first uh, Vic, uh, like the first Hatchet. I thought it was very good. It had uh, very good on-screen kills, lots of gore, uh, lots of nudity that you see in a um, flasher film, lots of people making some dumb decisions, and Victor Crawley was a very intimidating uh, villain in the film. But uh, the other two Hatchet films seemed to rehash what he did in the first one, and it seemed like the quality kind of died down a bit uh, as the series progressed. And it took a while before they decided to create this uh, fourth movie. So let's get on a minute and let's talk about Victor Crowley. Now, if you remember in the fourth one, Parry Shin once again plays uh, Andrew Young. He does not play the two twin brothers that were killed in the first and second picture. He was in the third one, but he played an uh, uh, parent, paramedic. Pan oh, boy. An ETM uh, named Andrew Young, and he did survive in the four in the third film, and he's back once again, and he seems to be hitting on the lecture circuit, uh, talking about the ten years that have passed since his encounter with Victor Crawley, and uh, he eventually uh, gets talked into by his um, by his um, uh, publicist to go to back into the swamp. Uh, back into the swamp, and unfortunately, it isn't before long before he res before he is resurrected, and he starts doing what he does best. Like I mentioned before, rip people to shreds, and that's basically what this movie is about. Now, as I stated before, the one thing I liked about the series is because of the on-screen kills. Victor Crowley looks menacing as usual. Uh, we get some great on-screen kills. We get some nice, decent gore in the film, and a lot of people get killed. We also have appearances by. Um, uh, Felicity Rose, she's in this picture, and uh, Tiffany Thesis, two of uh, two of horrors, one of the famous horrors of uh, uh, screen creams. You know, Felicity Rose, she was in uh, she was in the first uh, Sleepaway Camp. We don't know Tiffany Thesis. She is a uh, legendary uh, screen queen. Been a lot of horror pictures, and she does what she does best in this film too. And like I said, there is a lot of good things in this film. It's a great fun to watch. You know, sit back and watch Victor Crawley. Just rip the shit out of these people to shreds, and that's basically what he does. One of the main problems I do have with this film is the production value. Uh, it seems like, I don't know what Adam Green is doing now, uh, but you can tell half of the stuff in this film is fake. The airplane that they drive, looks, it looks terrible. 
and and I understand that maybe he's supposed to not take this seriously. That's the reason why I think that's why he did and he did this film. But I think one of the reasons why I enjoyed the first film because the production value looked pretty good, and uh, I thought everything looked authentic. Here, everything looks fake. You can tell the talk show that uh, Andrew does looks fake. The book signing looks fake. Uh, you have some real gross out moments uh, uh, at, and at one of the book signings. A real gross out moment that really almost wanted to throw up. Um, people who will see it know what I'm talking about too. Um, like I said, the production value looks very cheap and it looks very cheap. Uh, it doesn't take away from the fun of the film, but I'm just saying it's like you would have thought he would have had, uh, at this point in time, this is the fourth film, you would think he would have better production uh, in the film. But like I said, that's really a bad disappointment. But it doesn't take away from the film. I just wish he would have did a better job in his production value and making the film look a little authentic, not fake. Because everything looks fake. It looks cheap. It looks like, hey, look, we'll just throw this up there and make it believe like it's an actual book signing. Or make it believe... Uh, that this woman, uh, supposed I think it's supposed to be Perry's ex-wife, be a talk show host. And if we know we know that everything looks fake and dull. But like I said, overall, I had a pretty good time in enjoying this film, and I believe most of you people enjoyed the film as much as I did. So, as I opened up my vault, I'm going to give Victor Crowley, bam, two and a half of my five gold coins. Victor Crowley will get two and a half out of my five gold coins. Yes, that's what Victor Crowley's going to get. Two and a half out of my five gold coins. Now, uh, I don't think this film is getting any type of theatrical release. Uh, I saw this on Amazon, and I probably rented it for like a good five, six dollars. I believe you can find it on Amazon. I believe there's going to be a Blu-ray uh, that's going to be coming out. I just don't know when it's going to come out. I really didn't see anything else other than it's available on Amazon. Um, so if you want to be able to go see it, you can go to Amazon, and I believe you can find it and rent it. Uh, don't I believe you? I don't didn't see anything about people who have Amazon Prime where you can watch it for free. So that I haven't seen yet. But if you do, you know, like I said, if you like this type of uh, horror, if you like the first three uh, hatchet films, you'll love this one. Like I said, despite the poor production value and the poor cinematography that I believe. That was only down from the film. It's still what Adam Green does best, and what Kane Hodder and Victor Crawley, what everyone does his best, takes you know rich people to shreds, and that's basically what this movie is. So if you like that, you're gonna love Victor Crawley. Well, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And once again, this is your first time here. You know what you need to do. That's right. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and join the horror experience with me, the Horror Miser Money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down at the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember, horror rules.